Hi everyone, I would like to show you a trophy roe deer and moose. Hope you enjoy. So the first animal I would like to show you is the roe deer. There it is there, 215 to 265 in score. Now, you'll notice that since it's a very high scoring one, over 200, they do come in very, very slowly, like this. I wanted to record this just because I know it's fairly far away for it to come in but I want to show how long it takes for a trophy animal to come in sometimes especially the roe deer you'll notice that he doesn't run over as fast as the other roe deers you know the very small roe deer bucks they sometimes trot over but this one he's just casually strutting just very very slowly walking over to the call here I don't think once he ever trots he's just making his way over very very slowly also I am on a tripod stand here I tried to complete the competition that was going for harvest the highest scoring roe deer from blind tripod stand or whatever from with a bow with a compound bow but unfortunately for some reason the bow that I'm going to use the the pulsar bow uh, doesn't put me as an entry into the competition but luckily I wouldn't have won the competition or got a place in it anyway when we harvest this roe deer so yeah just a heads up for anyone that's doing the competition and finds a big roe deer, um, try not to take it out for the pulsar bow, otherwise it might not count for you. Anyway, he's coming in very, very slowly here still. Just trying to get as much footage as I can to impress if he looks up close. Here we go. Here's the shot. I got him. He immediately takes off. Look <laughs> how fast he runs. So yes, uh, I'm pretty sure I got a lung from there. Zoom in. Oh, and he's down. Yeah, so I definitely got maybe a lung. We'll see what we hit. Mark him with the rangefinder. Let's run over and collect him now. So very happy with this. Um, trophy road ears like this, they they don't come in much at all like this. It, it's very hard to find a really good trophy road deer because most of the time all the high weight ratio ones, the ones you want to go after, have got very low scoring antlers. And road deers score off beauty points as well. So the darker their antlers, I'm pretty sure it's the darker their antlers, the more they can score. So this one's got sort of a light antlers so it won't score that high it's 229 there we go very nice 229.191 and here's the trophy shot i decided to take it on the side so you can actually see the stem of the antler and everything like that but you can't really see it at the front and moving on to the moose now there he is there you can tell straight away if those antlers are right there. Oh, I just heard a weird call. It sounded so close, but my bison's like have a bug where their call sounds like super close, even though they're way 200 meters out. Anyway, um, just observe this because this is like really weird what happens here, right? Just walking forward. I mean, not walking, just crouch walking. Right, there's no other animals around me. I've checked. I've guaranteed that there's no other animals around me. I'm safe and crouched. And you'll see there's like no animations that play at all. Watch what happens here. <laughs> Look at that! Instant! No animations. They all just flee as like one big herd. Isn't that just the annoying thing, tell ya? 
Oh, and by the way, the moose predicted 205 to 230 in score, so it's a really nice one. So what I'm going to do is, as silly as this sounds, I'm going to try to take it out with the 308 rifle. Now, the 308 rifle is very, very poor on moose, so I, I don't expect to get much vitals here, just one. So what I'm going to do is, since he's like turned around a bit now, I think he has, yep, I'm going to try to get a heart shot here. Let's see how we go. So that should have been the heart. I'm not sure why it wasn't, but let's go over and see what we hit. Maybe I hit the lung. Nope, I hit the intestines from the front of the moose. This game never ceases to surprise me. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to shoot it again, unfortunately. Because it's... Oops, twerking out on the hill there. Alright, here comes my second shot, unfortunately. Because I did hit it in the intestines and it won't go down. I do have to shoot it again. like a good angle there. I'm pretty sure I hit a lung. Yep, down he goes. Alright, let's run over and collect him now. So a bit unfortunate, yeah that was the lungs, but a bit unfortunate that I did hit the intestines. What did I hit from, that was weird that, what did I hit? The stomach! I hit the stomach. Fair enough game, whatever. 210 to two, 210 point 283 in score. Very nice. And here's the trophy shot. I think it looks really good. And here's a little surprise I wanted to add in the video. So what happened was, I was calling in this red deer. I wasn't expecting too much. But in my surprise, you'll see what it is in just a minute. Trying to spot it with the spotting scope. I still have not seen it. I'm like, holy moly, that is a piebald red deer. Now, since I'm in no danger, it's only a female, I can get it relatively close for you guys to have a good look. And I'm take it out iron sided with the 308. At least I think I am. Oh, yep. <laughs> Here we go. Look like a solid hit. You gotta love that reload animation that you get with iron sights. It's just really nice to look at. When you have a scope on, you miss all that. I did hit the lungs, so I'll get Bandit to track that. So I brought him with me on this hunt. Shouldn't be too far. Nope. Oh. Yep, it's down there. So unfortunately, this is a bit on the hill with the slant. So, we'll see what we can do for the trophy shot. But here it is here. Very nice. Let's harvest it now. It's got it in the lung and shoulder blade. There you go. And here's the trophy shot. Actually turned out quite good, considering it was on a hill. That's it for this video. Remember, if you want to see more content from me, you can always check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.